guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We're here in downtown Austin, Texas for a media drive event that I know you've been waiting for and this guy right here has been waiting for. This is it. This is the all new mighty return of the 2023 Acura Integra A-Spec. But before we get into this iconic name from an iconic Japanese brand, let's talk about what's going on here. The Integra. Acura finally shocked the world with bringing this name back. And it's got a lot of history because think about it. Acura has been around since 1986. Well, guess what? The Integra name has been around since day one when they built their lineup. Now, technically, this is what Acura is calling the fifth generation of the Integra. And you might be saying, well, Joe, hold on a second. How can this be? Let me explain. So you have your three gens, right? Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3. Remember, Gen 1 had those iconic 80s pop-up headlights. Gen 3 ended in 2001. And that was the last time that technically here in the United States, the Integra name disappeared because Gen 4, we call it the Acura RSX, or around the world globally, they still called it the Integra. And that car stuck around until 2006. Fast forward to 2023, there's a lot of people that are now kind of in this controversial debate, a conspiracy theory. There's arm wrestling going on, tongue wrestling, and of course, some pretty good mud wrestling. But you know what? People are wondering, why does this have four doors? Where's the two-door Integra that they remember from their youth? Where's the Type R? What's going on here? Well, sometimes expect expectations can ruin how things are perceived at first. And Acura had to be careful because remember, that performance compact car segment is getting a little bit smaller, especially when it comes to manual transmissions. So what Acura wanted to make sure was that they were gonna have a car that would be that competitor to the other brands. And think about it, there's a lot of competition. You have, of course, this, the parent brand Honda with the Civic Si with that six-speed manual transmission, you have Volkswagen, not only with the GTI, but also the Jetta GLI. And then, of course, a lot of newcomers, especially from Hyundai, which, when you go back to 1986, Hyundai only had two different types of cars. They had their hatchback and, and their sedan, and that was it, the Excel. But things are different now. So Acura wanted to really be careful with how they did it, but you know what? They wanted to make sure they connected that driving performance and engagement. So what I wanna find out is, we have this beautiful carbon flash metallic, new color, new Integra. I wanna find out, is this the best compact performance car to buy, and is it better? We're gonna specifically focus on the Jetta GLI. Let's go ahead, let's dive into our 2023 Integra A-Spec and find out. Right off the bat, the style. There is not one piece of sheet metal that is shared between the Civic and the Integra. All new sheet metal. The chassis is similar, but that makes sense because they use global architecture. Now, at the front of the business, I do love what you see right off the bat. Integra. Going back to the original Integra, they stamped the name right in the front fascia, just like the originals. Of course, you're gonna get the new technology, LED daytime running lamps, that chicane style. And then, of course, you also have your LED turn singles and the multi-joule LED headlight beams. That's going to give us a nice bright light. Comparing this to a GLI, much more sportier in appearance and much more modern. And, of course, that name. Now, as we work our way down, you do have functional, not fake, functional corner air curtains to help smooth out that air with a couple vortex generators. That's going to actually smooth the air as it hits the front of the vehicle, we do get LED fog lamps. That's something on the Jetta you don't have. The Jetta GLI, no fog lamps, and all the vents are fake. This is functional. That carbon flash metallic color, really, really liquid carbon, just a great color, nice sparkle. And then as we come across the front grill, the new Integra is the first Acura to have the frameless, design to the grill. I love the way it's just the gloss black extends out with that Acura badge. 
nice clean body lines. One thing you'll never argue with is the fit and finish of an Acura product. And then on the lower end, you'll notice how they extend this gloss black section and the way that the splitter is all built in and integrated, super clean design. I think the one thing that I would like to see is maybe, maybe just a little bit more aggressive front fascia on the bottom part. But other than that, it definitely falls into their lineup of other precision crafted performance vehicles. Now, when you get up onto that hood, really clean with the body style. You can see how this carbon, liquid carbon color really highlights all of the body lines. And I think the way that they worked everything really flows nicely from front to the windshield and your eight pillars. Now, as we come around the bend, what are we working with wheel and tire setup? You go A-spec, this one being the top A-spec trim, you're gonna get these 18 by eight inch wheels. So you got 18 inches in diameter, eight inches wide. That's that shark gray metallic. What they did was they went through 54 different sharks, took the color of the shark skin and actually created this color. You're gonna have nice large rotors and we have adaptive dampers all four corners. So you're gonna have different modes, different dry modes. The suspension will actually adapt depending on what mode you're in. That's why they call them adaptive dampers, all four corners. If you're wondering, well, Joe, what about the tires? 235 on the width, 40 series sidewall, and if you want a bigger wheel, they actually have an Acura Genuine Accessories wheel that actually is 19 inches in diameter. If you haven't seen that review of the walk around that we did at American Honda headquarters with those wheels, I'll leave it at the end of that of this review so you can compare. But this is specific to the A-spec, just like that front grille, specific to the A-spec. Now, as we come down, you're gonna get a simple badge on the side. I've always liked the way they styled the A-spec badge, no matter if it's a TLX, whatever MDX, it's got a nice look. You're gonna get carbon, uh, that liquid carbon color, color matched on the mirror caps, LED lighting. From the side, you could see the nice flow of body lines and how different it looks from a Honda Civic hatchback or a Honda Civic sedan. And let's talk about that for a second. This chassis is actually 2% stiffer than a Honda Civic sedan, 5% stiffer than the Honda Civic hatchback. So that just shows the extra work that's been put into the Integra. Coming down the side, you do have color match on the door handles, nice, sexy, low roof line. You do get a sunroof, a little bit of gloss black, but only in the middle here. I love the way they have that nice body indentation to give it the extra character from the side profile. And as we come to the rear, this is where it gets really good. The way they work the taillights really harks back to the early Integras with the full LED lighting. It's even got the Acura name. It's all the little touches, the ace bat badge on the trunk. Nice deck lid spoiler. Remember, this is a lift back, so this whole thing is gonna rise up. Even the way they did this notch, look at a 1986 Integra. It's the same exact design. And then as you drop down, you are gonna get functional exhaust on both sides with a nice gloss black rear diffuser. I wish the diffuser was just a little bit more aggressive, but I do like the way they work the exhaust. It's an oval opening slash cut with, of course, they finished it off the Integra name on the back. But you know what? It's not just about names, it's about performance. Let's pop the hood and see what's powering our new Integra. Right, guys, before we get into this first drive, because that's why we're here. We're not only here for this car, but also the first drive. We got the hood open for you. Let's talk about performance. Now you do have a prop rod. It is all the way over on the passenger side, out of the way. And what's nice is, is you could put it into service mode. So now at your service tech, area of your dealership, they can open up the hood even wider. But let's talk about what's underneath the hood. First of all, not a bunch of plastic all over the place. Now you can see the wires, the tubes, all that good stuff, but that's because this is an enthusiast car and that's what an engine looks like in modern days. But we got a 1.5 liter turbocharged inline four. So it's a four cylinder turbocharged engine, 200 horsepower, 192 pound feet of torque, Ours is mated. When you go A-spec top trim, 
A no cost option is a slick shifting six speed manual with a helical limited slip differential. That's going to give us zero to 60 in about six seconds flat. You also can get a CVT, but let's talk about weight. The weight of this vehicle is around 3,100 pounds. If you compare that to a Civic Si, the Civic Si weighs in at 2,952 pounds. Now the Jetta GLI does have more horsepower, 228 horsepower, but I think the driving experience is gonna be quite a bit different. MPGs for the manual is 26 in the city, 36 on the highway. With the manual, you do have automatic rev match downshift and that super light flywheel. CVT, that's the other transmission. MPGs, 30 in the city, 37 on the highway. So they really did a great job with offering different transmissions. I personally would have kept the, seven, the uh, DCT, that dual clutch transmission from the ILX. So I am gonna zonk that this has a, ZV, a CVT, but while we go ahead, they have a tuned special exhaust sort of like a cinnamon roll. Let's go ahead, get a bite into that sound and hear what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside this 2023 Integra. I can't believe the name is back. Yes, it's a little bit of a different tune, but you know what? This liquid carbon color is gonna be the color that I would get if I was to get an Integra. Now, if you go A-Spec, you can get the A-Spec specific color, which of course is Apex Blue, and that looks phenomenal as well. But I know you're saying, well, Joe, enough about the talk. Let's put our money where the mouth is. How much is this new Integra? So the Integra starts at $30,800. If you want to get the A-Spec trim, it's $32,800. And if you want the top dog, this A-Spec Plus, that's going to be $35,800. Now here's the little kind of catch. If you want the six-speed manual transmission, and all the goodies that come with it, it's a no cost option, but you have to go A-Spec Plus. So that $35,800 price point, but let's go ahead, let's compare it to the Jetta GLI and the rest of the competition and see what you're getting for the money to the door panels. I love the two-tone style that Acura is doing. First of all, you'll notice it's different than the Civic, definitely different, than the Jetta GLI. You get the ELS Premium Studio 3D sound system. That's award-winning sound system. 16 speakers, nice aluminum grill cover with the aluminum trim. Our liquid carbon has the red interior, so you're gonna get that beautiful cherry red, no gloss black around the switch gear. Door pocket is a pretty good size. You could get a nice Tex-Mex burrito in there, maybe a bison burger, and a bottle of Mountain Dew, good old Dew to wash it down. Going from the door panel to the dash, this is where there's some similarities and some differences. You do get that nice wire mesh finish on the AC vents. What the big difference from the Civic is, you're getting that no fingerprint material. And I'm really liking this better 
than all the wire mesh. Let me know how you feel about it in the comment section. The one thing I'm gonna zonk is this soft touch material looks good. I would like some red stitching here. If they ran red stitching, it would work so well with our red interior, but let's go ahead and continue. But so far, compared to the Jetta GLI, this definitely has the higher level of premium materials. Now, you do get the all new nine inch infotainment system from the Honda Civic. That's that optional infotainment system. I am gonna zonk it. And the reason why is I'm not really too keen into no colors. It's all this black and white. It is a touch screen, which is great. And you got plenty of pages to go through in all your apps. And of course you can move all these icons around. It's just a little plain Jane. I think for this car, they should have took the 10.25 inch infotainment system, maybe from the RDX and put it in here to really give it that special look. But let me show you some of my favorite features. Dynamic mode. So you go through your different modes. It comes up on the screen, sport, normal, and comfort. Love the way it shows the Integra. There's our liquid carbon color, but we're gonna keep it in sport. And then on top of that, you do have individual. You press and hold, and now you're able to adjust easily all the different areas. So you could do your suspension normal and keep everything else in sport. And I love the way it lights up when you do it. You could disable that pesky auto start-stop feature. You could even change up your gauges and wait until you see those gauges, but we're gonna keep engine in sport, everything. I'm actually gonna put the whole kit and caboodle, everything in sport, because we got those adaptive dampers, so I really like that. Backup camera, it's a large size, and large is good, but you know what? It's really, really grainy, so not the best resolution, so I'm gonna have zonk that. I like how large it is, but it's very, very grainy, but other than that, it's easy to navigate through this infotainment system. Of course, you got wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. We do have three stages of heated seats. No ventilated seats at this price point. Let me know how you feel about that. I love all the switch gear. It feels like a safe from the wild, wild west days in some kind of shootout at the OK Corral. You got a USB-A, USB-C, 12 volt, and wireless charging on our trim. And then this is where the magic happens, everybody. Remember when you were a kid and your parents said knock before you go into their room? They were making the magic happen. You make the magic happen right here. Great engagement, nice, crisp feel, short throws. I love the way they did the shift knob with the aluminum finish. You got your gear pattern, nice leather with the red stitching. See, the red stitching would have been nice because it's on the shift boot and everything. I do like the aluminum style finish around the base of the shifter. What I'm not in love with is this. What is going on here? Look at all the fingerprints. The FBI is gonna bust me now. I got fingerprints all over this. It would have been nicer if they used the no fingerprint material around here. That's just my take on that. You do have an electric e-brake instead of a mechanical e-brake. Two large cup holders for your super slurpees. And then the new updated Acura key fob. Love the badging, love the size. It's not gonna hopefully poke you in the family jewels to where you can't have kids. There's our red interior, nice and soft with the stitching. Open it up. You easily could put, I would say, a 124th scale model of a 1998 Integra Type R. So if you missed the Type Rs of the past, you could drive around in your Integra with your white on white, the white with the white wheels. <laughs> Model 124th scale, that's how much room is in there. And there's felt lining, so you're not gonna scrape that beautiful paint job. Seats, I'm in love with them. Softness, the Alcantara, the black leather, the bolstering. You have four-way electric assist for the passenger. Don't be too sad about that because you, as the driver of this car, you get a 12-way adjustable seat. And of course, your standard size sunroof. Would have been nice to have a panoramic sunroof. Let me know how you feel about that. But why don't you come over to the business end? I got a digital dash I want to show you and an A-spec steering wheel over here. Come on over. Let me show you. All right, you. guys. Come on into the business end. This is where you want to be sitting. You get two memory seat settings, which is really nice. Love the aluminum sill plate with the A-spec badging. Very classy. And then, of course, the best news is we got triple pedal action. Aluminum clutch, brake pedal, and throttle. The dead pedal is a nice size, but I wish that that would have been aluminum as well but we do get the a-spec floor mats with the red 
piping, that's an additional five extra horsepower. And even the way that they put the silver finish on all the switch gear for the electric seat, it really gives it a nice upscale feel. I'm six feet tall, plenty of headroom in here. You can heel toe downshift yourself, but remember we also have that automatic rev match downshift feature, steering wheel. Acura does some of the best in the biz. I love the thickness, the red stitching, very classy. The A-spec badge, looking good. Just a little bit of gloss black. Everything else is flat black. It is manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then you're gonna have that nice large digital display. When you change the modes, it actually changes the colors on the screen, which is really nice. So right now we're in normal. I go to comfort, you see the blue. That means you're getting nice comfort easy driving but you know how we do it here on radius rides we're going to stay full sport mode you can scroll watch this you could actually scroll through different information in the actual centers of the gauges which are kind of cool so that really we're going to leave that on tire pressure to make sure that we're running the right amount of tire pressure and then of course we're rocking out to 80s on eight in our integra but why don't we go ahead front seats are great but of course this Integra is about sharing because remember, caring is sharing, kids. So let's go ahead and check out the back seat and see how much room there is for your passenger. Right, guys, this is where a compact car does not feel compact. This back seat area, first of all, it looks amazing with the red interior. This is, like I said, the color combo that I would choose if I was buying a new Integra. But still six feet tall, plenty of headroom, plenty of leg room. Now you don't get a pocket if you're sitting behind the driver. And that's a little bit of an issue, especially if you got some snacks that you need to store. But let me show you. We do have two USB-A's, which are great. So you can stay connected. I have a nice large pocket, so big that I could, there's a barbecue place right down the street. I could take two racks of ribs full with barbecue and all the sticky good stuff and just slide them into this back pocket for a snack later down the road. Armrest. Talk about charm and soft. This thing is so soft, you're, you're almost gonna wanna sit on it. Two cup holders, which are great while you're eating your ribs. But you know what? One thing that this Integra does is they bring versatility. Let's check out the cargo area and see how much room there is for all your stuff in the new Integra. All right, guys. One of the great things about this Integra is its lift back design going back to 1986. Real easy to open. You just put your fingers in that Integra area. And then what you're gonna do is you just lift it up. You're gonna be greeted to tons of space. And this is really where the Integra is gonna come out on top, especially compared to the Jetta GLI. Not only do you have a low cargo floor, very wide. We do have a cargo net for two boxes of race Twinkies over there. And if you need more room, because you're going to Costco to get your 50 gallon drum, of mayonnaise, real simple. You're just gonna fold the seats. They actually do a 60-40 split. And look at how nice and flat that is. Unbelievable how they were able to engineer so much room into a compact car. I mean, there's SUVs that don't have this much space. Plus, remember we have that 16-speaker ELS Studio 3D sound system with your subwoofer in the back to give you the thump and thump tunes, but you know what? I'm ready to do some tunes. It's called on throttle six speed manual action. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's hop in our Integra A spec and let's do it. All right, guys, we're inside behind the wheel of this 2023 Acura Integra. Incredible that cargo space because you can literally put about 70 cases of. Twinkies back there. That's approximately 578 and a half Twinkies. But now we're gonna do the on throttle business. I found a little bit of a twisty road. Of course we have it in sport mode. I have all the settings in sport mode, especially engine, braking, steering, the whole shabam. But if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's do some on throttle in this new Integra A-Spec. Here we go. On throttle, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke them if you got them. On the brakes. Nice balance. The shifter is just the perfect height. Nice crispness to each engagement. Nice short throws. Feedback to the steering wheel is spot on the money. 
brakes feel really, really good. That's really where things come into play is the brakes. Proceed to the road. But really nicely done with the chassis, the balance. Yeah, I just absolutely love all of the inputs in this car. And that's what it's about. It's about that driving engagement, that driving enjoyment. Having the adaptive dampers really allows you to set what kind of ride quality that you want. And like I was saying, even in sport, it's really not gonna shake your inner organs out of your body. But I love the automatic red match downshift. Really nice with the handling. I mean, look at this. And remember that torque is coming in at 1800 RPM. Good feedback into the steering. Here we go, on throttle. So what I like is where the torque starts to come in, 1800 RPM. I mean, look at the brakes, they feel phenomenal. <laughs> this car is so much fun to drive, that's the best part. Here we go, on throttle. Alright guys, I want to do an on throttle first gear. We're at 3,000 RPM. We're going to rip it all the way to red line, which is about 6,500. If you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle, here we go. Nice shift, here we go. Third. When you get the red line, the tack starts to flash red. Feels good. But the shifter is just... Spot on the money how you want it to feel. Here we go. Tight left-hander. <laughs> the back came out a little bit just to kind of square off the corner. Look at this. Yeehaw! Ride him cowboy in Texas! Let's do one more on throttle and then we gotta wrap this one up. Here we go, you ready? First gear, on throttle! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Feels really good, but you know what? We need to get back and wrap this one up, so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been one heck of a time with this Acker Integra here in downtown Austin. I definitely want to thank the whole Acura PR team for inviting us for this big media drive event. Let me know what you think. Has Acura done the right steps to bring the Integra name back? Is this the best compact performance car that you should be buying? And in the end, is it better than the mighty Jetta GLI? Let me know in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. I'll come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. We got to give it up to the best in the biz. Lori, working that camera like a champ. Show her some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.